Good morning everyone. Today I want to bring this video in a really quick, short video um, to show you how easy it is to update your Canvas workspace. Now this update only works on the desktop version. So I tried it on the web base and it's not working for me. So this is for the fit to path update that Finally Brother has come out with and all you have to do is click on help. I've already done this so um, I'm not going to go through the whole thing. Um, I won't save it I should say. You click on help. You notice how it says here check for canvas workspace update. You go down check for the latest scan and cut DX update. This is to update your scan and cut machine. This one is to update your Canvas workspace. You click on that and you're not going to receive, you're not going to get this box. You're going to get one that says that an update is available. You're going to click OK and update your computer, your um, software. Once that is done and you log out, you log back in tomorrow, whatever, you're going to, if you check again, you're going to get this message saying that it's updated. It's fine. Where do you find it? It's under the Edit tab. Click on Edit, and Fit to Path should be right there. Right now, it's grayed out because there is nothing on my canvas that is normal. How do you find it again? Fit to Path, right here. If you right-click with your mouse, it's right there, Fit to Path. So how do you use it? You get your shape. and then you get your text. You type out my name and I'm going to fill that with color and I think I will do red. Okay. You select both of them and all I'm doing is I'm holding down my left mouse button and crossing over both, letting go and then I am going to click on edit and fit to path and there it is now I'm going to undo that I'm going to select again I'm going to right click fit to path now you're going to find that every time you do this command it's going to save it on the bottom right hand corner that is fine you see this right here that plus sign click on it and drag it with your mouse and move it to wherever you want Okay, and there it is. Now, once you have it in the spot that you want it at, you're going to right click, convert to shapes, or you're going to go to edit and convert to shapes. And there it is. All right, that's all you need to do. This is a wonderful thing to have because this way we don't have to do like individual letters, get the shape, put it on the, the, the shape and weld everything together, blah, 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 all that stuff. It's just annoying to do it that way. This way, it's the easiest way to do it and you can do it with basically any shape you have. You can weld two shapes together, put it on there, you can have like three different words, it doesn't matter the size, as long as you make that shape big enough to fit um, your letters, it should be good. All right, now, let me undo, let me um, get rid of this, and let's start over again, because I want to show you something else. Let's get a circle this time, all right, and my name again. And I'm going to make this bigger and I'm going to put this here just to show you that you don't have to have, come on, yeah, really not working there. Okay. Just to show you that you don't have to have it right on top. You can have it anywhere. Okay. All you have to do is be able to, um, Capture them, group them like that, select both of them, and fit to path. Here it is. So undo that. 
to be here. So I select that one. I'm going to click on it. <laughs> click on it. And then I'm going to hold my shift key and then click on the name. And here, if you could shift and click on the name and you see how both of them are selected. Fit to path. And there it is. Change it. Take it back. Any way you want it. Okay. Isn't that cool? I'm going to try one more thing that I didn't think about doing before. And I'm going to see if we can do another fit to path after the fact. This would be amazing and awesome if it can happen. So let's see. Nope, grayed out. Cannot happen. Too bad. Nope, grayed out. Too bad because you can't have two separate, you cannot have two separate words. You have to type out You have to type it out this way, all right, in order to use it. So let's move that out of the way. Move that out of the way and let me get a shape. Okay, make that bigger so it can fit. Select both of them, fit to path. And then, you see that? Now, and then you can increase the, the space between all the characters. see that and then convert then you have that one all right let's try it another one um, another circle actually let's do this one all right and then that let's see that and let's give it color and hmm let's try that one okay and then select that okay select that one and fit to path and that i like that works for me really well and convert shape. And why would I wanna do this? Well, because I'm a crafter and we like trying crazy stuff. And it's wonderful that now we have the ability to do it. Okay? And look at that. Even after you have converted it, you can still change the size. Okay? Isn't that great? Well, I hope this was helpful for you. And as usual, if you like the video, please don't forget to click the like. Um, click on the bell so you get notifications when my next videos come up. And don't forget to share the video. Show some love. Thank you so much. You have a great day.